I'm, I'm, there's, I got so much evidence, I just need the one evidence from the mom, but how do I get that? Uh, uh, Felicity! I need that one more piece of evidence from the mom, and I swear to god, if it's to like Nan or something, which doesn't add up. That's gonna be so frustrating. You need to shake. Don't answer it. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, I did so <sighs> Fine. So we need to play with the mom again. Oh, so you want to be in a team with me? Well, at least you're not June. Did you like the present I got you? Mm, remind me? The earrings? Oh, yes, that's right. You think they suit me, do you? Well, I just think you look great in anything. Okay, question one. Whenever I'm in Dubai, I go to Dimitri Chateau's. He does my favorite dish in the world. What is it? What a stupid question. How on earth am I supposed to keep track of every culinary fiasco that Lottie gets obsessed with? I mean, whatever it is, it'll be some sort of bizarre vegetation, won't it? Is it trendy to eat a hedge now? Yeah, I haven't got a clue either. I, you're right, I, I don't know how she expects us to know these. <laughs> Shall we just guess? You can think of something. Sure, uh, Hunter's chicken? She likes that. So the dish is called Humility. Even the name makes me feel sick. It's a specially prepared ketogenic hemp and tofu bowl served with wild quinoa. Oh, seriously unreal. Question two, I like to use my channel to help others, so which charity did I recently promote on my socials? Oh, I know this. Toby was arguing with her about it at the meeting, kept saying it wasn't a real charity. At the meeting? Mm, Toby was going mad. He was on edge about something all evening. Never seen him so keen to be at the meeting. It's like he had something to get out of it. He didn't even come last year. Didn't he? Claimed he had a mindfulness retreat in the Cairngorms. Oh, I know what it was. It wasn't a charity. It was a fundraiser for an eco-fashion brand that was going out of business now. Green Pieces. That's what they were called. Was anyone else acting strange at the meeting? Oh, stop it, Abby. I don't want to talk about that now. Tonight's about family and fun. The two Fs. Don't make me add another. Christ, I tried some of the Green Pieces stuff once. It's all recycled. You're literally wearing someone else's rubbish. Disgusting. So green pieces, as in a piece of pie. How else would you spell it? The answer is green pieces. They're going through a really tough time right now, so it's like your perfect chance to give something back. You can find the donation link on my socials. How she can call that a charity, I don't know. <laughs> First time I've ever agreed with Toby. So why was Toby so keen to be at the meeting this time? <laughs> I don't know, he was on edge all evening. Kept trying to get Uncle Marcus on his own. Cornered him every time he stood up. <laughs> Marcus looked like he was being hunted down. God knows what all that was about. <laughs> um, just talk amongst yourselves, guys. When I have question three, I will shout. Sorry I missed the meeting, Mum. So you should be. It was the usual nightmare. Don't see why you should get to escape it. The one consolation, Marcus came off worse this time. I mean, I know you've hero-worshipped that man ever since your father died, but he really is an awful prick. What happened? Oh, didn't anyone tell you? Auntie June knocked one of her foul-smelling candles right onto him. Christ knows what scent it was supposed to be. Cherry and toilet dark, it smelt like. Something chemical, anyway. And Marcus's jumper started to burn instantly. So Toby threw his drink straight in Marcus's face, said he was trying to put out the flames. Now, how you missed by that much accidentally, I don't know. So then I poured Marcus's drink over him to actually put out the flames. Of course. Then Marcus started shouting, 
about Auntie June burning his hand. And Lottie came in with an old wet rag, which she said was cold, and started rubbing it on. Loads of people are doing it. Loads of people aren't in this family, Abby. Just pick and shit. No one in real life does maths without a calculator. Um, I've got one on my phone somewhere. Is it 12? Fine. Your mom's pretty tricky to. Oh, we got it. Toby cornered Marcus. So why was Toby so keen to be at the meeting this time? <laughs> I don't know. He was on edge all evening. Kept trying to get Uncle Marcus on his own. Cornered him every time he stood up. <laughs> Marcus looked like he was being hunted down. We got it. We got it. We got it. OK, sweet. Oh, uh, Shall I go with... Why do people listen to happy music when they're not even happy? It just makes you feel worse, you know? Did you mean uh, Mum played this at the meeting? I think so. Abby. <laughs> what are you doing? you got to get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby! Uh, you muted me and I wasn't even saying anything. What were you looking at? Nothing. I'm fine. Uh, what were we talking about? Nothing. Right, yeah. No, wait, you were uh, saying that Mum played this song at the meeting. I mean, ha uh, how was the meeting? When I mean, everyone was really angry. Um, we lost he was acting strange too. She, she's got two phones now. That's uh, not the kind of phone that takes photos. Maybe someone gave it to her. Did you see anything else? Wouldn't you like to know? Got everything here. Okay. Is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> Did he say eight miles? Oh, why don't they just catch the bus? The school must run one. I've got no idea what he's doing. Sounds like he's going into a bit of a lecture. He loves a sermon, our Toby. Oh, this <laughs> now this little boy's feet are bleeding, swollen to the the. But I can't hear a word he's saying. Yep, I muted him. You'll have to teach me how to do that. I think it could come in very handy. I'm, I'm sorry that I, I haven't been round to see you in a while. Oh, don't worry, love. I get updates off your mother. Well, when she can be bothered to check up on you. I was hoping I might see you at the meeting, but I think you made the right choice keeping away. Sounds like I did. Awful it was, love. I don't know how much you've already heard, but there was trouble all over the shop. Even Toby, Mr Peace and Love, he lost it. I was getting myself a drink in the kitchen and he burst in, in a world of his own, furious with your Uncle Marcus, saying something about how he'd left him no choice. What does that mean? He wouldn't tell me. Do you think we should switch him back on before he notices? <sighs> Probably. And after all that, he's taken, kidnapped by a militia. Can you even comprehend? What a load of nonsense. Abby, Nan, are you concentrating? I haven't had a single response from you yet. What do I say, love? Sh shall I just do a thumbs up? Will that help? We're just discussing the kidnapped boy. OK, what are your thoughts? Nan was saying that it's an incredibly sad situation, but there are so many factors at play, you know, uh, political instability and um, extreme poverty. Wait, Nan said that? Yes. Nan? Yeah. Said that? She did. I mean, maybe not in those exact words. Do you think this is funny, Abby? Huh? Is that what everyone else thinks too, huh? You all think that this is a joke? What do the others say, love? Probably, yes. You know, I should have known that an exercise like this would be a waste of time on this family. No emotional intelligence at all. You should all be ashamed. Well, someone else do their round so Toby will shut up. No, that's not fair. I want to do a round. No. But it's my turn. No. Listen, love, 
Before I go, there's one thing I've been meaning to ask you. Has your mother spoken to you about your Uncle Marcus lately? No. Why? The, the day of the meeting. It, it, your mother asked us all to get to the house early, before your Uncle Marcus got there. She told us... How did she put it? She wanted him out of the way. She was asking us all there to see if we'd support her in a move to take over the company, to take it off Marcus. Your mum wants to buy him out, but she can't meet his price. I think he's asking for too much just to annoy her. And obviously the company means a lot to him because of his dad. I, I know you try to stay out of all this financial stuff, but the company is for all of us, love. That's how your grandfather wanted it. I know. I think we best get back for the next round. Nan, wait a second. I, I need to tell you something. I knew there was something wrong. What on earth is it? Something really bad has happened to Uncle Marcus. Bad? Well, what do you mean? Someone's hurt him. Someone's Oh, Abby, tried love. To... He's not going on about that again, is he? About what? That bloke he said was threatening him. What? Abby, please. Family that would never fucking lie to you. Huh. I, I believe... Okay, we got everything from Nan. I am. I always play nicely. I'm delighted. Toby and Bradley. Hmm. Bradley, we need to talk. About what? Question one. Which one of Flick's little brats threw up all over my car? Well, that was you, wasn't it? Mum still talks about it. She still thinks she can smell it. She's had like eight cars since then. <laughs> Bradley, you have to tell me everything that happened at the meeting. Well, nothing unusual, just like loads of arguments. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, it's just so weird. You're lying. What? What am I lying about? The answer is Abigail. Disgusting child. What are you not telling me, Bradley? I mean, you're mental, Abby. You Seriously, you're crazy. I, I don't understand. You have poisons, don't you? Was it you? I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me the truth right fucking now. OK, let me explain. I have two poisons. Oh, my but... God, it's actually true. Yeah, but listen to me. One of them went missing. At least I think so. It's just that... It's just what? One second. Bradley. One second. What right. is that? This is polonium-210, OK? It's, it's, it's one of the poisons that I lost. It wasn't where I thought I put it, but, but it was somewhere safe. Hasn't been opened, right? It's just probably just misplaced, the other one, as well, somewhere. W one of the poisons is still missing? Yeah, but... Who knows about the poison, Bradley? Like, how many people know where you kept them? I don't know. You're lying. I'm not lying. I don't know. Question two. Which... Birthday was Flick celebrating when she lured me into the so attic it. and locked me in so I couldn't attend. Look, if you think they were taken, then someone must have known about them. Just tell me the fucking truth. OK, look, Toby knows where I keep my stuff and I've shown them to Lottie before. Who else? Who else? No, she, she, she wouldn't. Who? Nan. Who are you talking about, Bradley? I like to get up early for, for walks. Sometimes. Really early, like before the sun comes up. When no one's around. But on the morning of the meeting, when I got back, I saw Nan it was just like in my room, just like standing there. And uh, she looked really, really flustered when she saw me. But she was only in there to talk about mum's drinking. 
Nan. Abby, I need you. Holy shit, dude. Dang, dude. We got everybody. We got it. Auntie June, Bradley, Lottie. Kept looking out the window. Bad moves that you being Everybody, we got it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We got Toby. We got Nan. We got Mum. So we've only accused Auntie June and Lottie so far. Let's fucking go, dude. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if... It's Thallium. If you say so, kid. <sighs> Dang, so Bradley was the one. Look at that. Four pieces of evidence you need to get from fucking Bradley. Abby, where have you been? Oh, she's doing it for attention. Be quiet, June. Are you okay, love? You're gonna have to speak up, Abs. There's some pretty heavy rain here. So we can literally do everybody now. We're still missing two pieces of evidence, but I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. So we're just gonna go down the line now. Bradley. What? You tried to kill Uncle Marcus. Abby! Bradley poisoned him! What? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. It had to be. No, 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 no. My poisons went missing. I would never use them. I, I, I know how dangerous they are. Even just owning them is seriously illegal. Stop lying! I'm not... I told you. I didn't poison him. Okay? Fuck. If someone else used my poisons, then... Oh, I, 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 I can't go to jail. I, I would survive inside. I'd rather die. Oh shit, dude! What the Bradley, fuck? Bradley, no! Oh, I can't look. This is really oh. scary me hey, now. What's going on there, guys? Signal's really bad here. Listen to me. Oh you, damn! You don't, you don't need to die over this. I didn't do it. Why would I do it? I don't have a motive. You're obsessed with murder. And... That's not a motive. That's a hobby. I love fantasy novels too. It doesn't make me a fucking goblin. No, but the poisons. I told you I didn't use them. Someone took them. I would never. Oh shit. Oh, shit. shit, Bradley, just put the gun down. Okay, put the gun down. It wasn't me. I know. I know. I believe you. Really? Oh, Mom. Mom. Oh, oh shit. No. shit. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, did he just jump out the window? Oh, Jesus Christ, Abby, what have you done? Oh, he's on the third floor or something. Hey, guys, you cut out there. Sorry. I just caught Bradley using some red filter or something. Did I miss anything? Bro. Abby, come here a second, kiddo. I, I gotta say, these drugs they have me on are some pretty strong stuff. I just hallucinated Bradley shooting <laughs> his mom. Can you believe that? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Abby? Holy shit, bro. That's wild. Holy shit, bruh. Okay, so that was pretty crazy. Dude, that's wild. What a crazy ending. Okay, so now we're just gonna pretty much skip. You need to sh Don't answer it. Right to the end. Um... Come on, Abby. Ignore her. Okay. Uh, Fine. So... Who's next? Uh, speak to Lottie.
fact is, it'll be some sort of bizarre vegetation, won't it? Is it trendy to eat a hedge now? Actually, I think I know the answer. It's a keto, ke ketogenic... Loads of people are doing it. Loads of people aren't in this family, Abby. Just pick a... Shit, no one in real life does maths without a calculator. Um, I've got one on my phone somewhere. I think... Your mum's pretty... Yeah, the signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do... No! Uh... Mm. Uh, guard her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. I think she was probably just trying to drown out the sound of all the arguments, to be honest. Well, nice one, babe. Thanks, babe. Sorry. Don't apologise to me, babe. Apologise to your skin. Oh, uh, yeah, will do. Thanks. When I was a kid, I just, like, listened to it over and over and over. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> Just like his father. Complete utter. Oh, dude, you missed it, George. You totally just missed it, man. You totally just we missed it, bro. Increase? Well, it's 50 50. Like the craziest Abigail. thing just happened. I'm sure you can handle it. Like, I was not expecting what happened. Cause permanent damage having one's head permanent. Well, I've got two but in I, a row. Oh, we, um, I was able to unlock all the endings here. now because I, I found all the clues needed. It seems like it we make a, a pretty a good while, team. Though. Like a seagull and a jet engine. Question three. This is the French. So... Put something down, Abigail, before he moves on. I'll go with diseases. Abby, please. Family that would never fucking lie to you. I, I believe you. I am. I always play nicely. I'm delighted. Mum still talks about it. She still thinks she can smell it. She's had like eight cars since then. <laughs> Bradley, you... Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, it's just so weird. You're lying. What? What am I lying about? It's Thallium. <laughs> if you say so, kid. Abby, where have you? So now we can now we can press Nan. Let's do Nan. So we we've done, we did Bradley, we did Lottie and Aunt June. So we just need to do Nan, Mom, and Toby. You know what? We should. I wonder if we should. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save Nan for last. Let's go through Toby right now. Let's do, let's do Toby really quick. I bless the rain down in London, accused Toby. Toby. Sorry, Ab, you talking to me? You trying to kill Uncle Marcus? This is all You new. tied to fill jungle darkness? <laughs> no, oh, look, no, Abs, I can't impose Christmas on them. They've got their own beliefs. You tried to kill Uncle Marcus. What? Fix sort your daughter out! Ab, no, it's true, it's true, Toby. Poison meant the meeting. Just tell them the truth, Toby. I didn't! Look, Toby, I know you're lying. So just tell them the truth. All right, you want the truth? I'm fucked. I'm absolutely fucked. Uncle Marcus was my only hope. What? How could I poison him when I couldn't even get near him at the meeting? I tried to talk to him over and over, but he wouldn't listen. You know, I needed his help. I've lost every penny of this fucking school's fund. 400 fucking grand down on a hole in the ground. What are you talking oh, about? Shit. I put the money into a diamond mine. They said I would make millions. For the charity, obviously, but Amnesty fucking International exposed it as using slave labour, which I knew nothing about, by the way. Oh, shit, I've lost every penny. Yeah, but if Uncle Marcus had died, his share of the company would go to the... No, I don't have time for that. I can't wait a couple of months for a will to be sorted out. The auditor's deadline was yesterday. I needed the money. Yesterday, Marcus was my last chance. Wait, so you didn't do it? No! I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The only reason I did this shitty quiz is to say goodbye. I'm supposed to have an accident and disappear. What accident? God, oh, shit. I mean, you know, I mean, 
Oh. I, I might have an accident because, you know, these, these jungle roads, they're, um... Oh, dang, he's gonna die. You're listening to Relaxing Sounds of Africa. Oh. Oh. Three. Fucking hell! Just he's not even in Africa. Where, where's he gone? He's not in Africa at all. He's in he's in London. Abigail, what's going on? I, hold, hold on. I, George, stay, stay, stay. I'm gonna go through still, all of them uh, again. Uh, or yeah, through the, sorry, the, uh, through the actually, crazy ones too. The one you missed, you missed something Ooh, listen, insane. I, um, like I was so shocked. Uh, run off again. Does anyone fancy lending me any money? It's for a really good cause. Okay, so next we're gonna uh, accuse the mom. Um. I'm just, I'm pretty much just skipping through all of the other things just to get to where we accuse. So we're not wasting any, um, time. You need to, don't answer it. So we don't. Come on, Abby. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Stars chair or a sex toy. Uh, well, uh, the word's Asian. Huh? Just put that down before we run out of time. A yeah, I can't remember what it is. I said, put the eating us into giving her praise and compliments. It is pathetic. I do on. Put that down. Well, I was going to say 14. Yes, well, you're not exactly Carol Vorderman, are you? So Fine. Yeah, I'll go with 13. Quiz uh, mm. again, so I'm counting on you. Hey, Les you sur la route. Everything okay, Toby? Oh, yeah, there's just an old man on the road. He looks in pretty desperate shape. I'll tell the driver to uh, to give him a bottle of water. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's oh. so racist. I tried to think. What would happen to these poor people if I wasn't out here risking my life to help them, you know? Uh, I'm so proud of you, Hey, Toby. that's not why I'm here, but I appreciate it. So uh, I, I think the answer is Beethoven. The what? The, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good to me. The music of life, the music of the earth, the music of truth. Well, you must have met some amazing people. The thought of it really made him laugh. Just follow that path, Ab. Okay, well, I'm pretty certain it's Beethoven. There we go. Don't be persuaded by Toby to submit the wrong answer. Okay, so we go. Okay, listen up, guys. Uh, my Is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> oh, did he say eight miles? Well, why don't they just catch the bus? The school must run one. I've got no idea. Why don't I just do a thumbs up? Will that help? We're just Abby, please family that would never fucking lie to you. Okay, we're getting there. I, I believe I am. I always play nicely. I'm to lie. Best or something. Wait, no. Was that with a quad bike? And absolutely fine when he left. What on earth's going on? Right, here we I'm go. sorry, Nan. I, I I shouldn't be involving you in this. I'm I'm okay. The answer we were looking for is nothing. Absolutely nothing. But you never forget Flick's birthday, do you, Mummy? Abby, I need you. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote now. I might just make it happen. Just choose, please. Oh shit, we're still missing information from mom. Holy crap. Abby, where have you- So now we're gonna do the mom, because we have already did Bradley, Toby, Lottie, and Aunt June. So we're gonna do the mom, like, this is delusions.
Mum? Yes. You tried to kill Uncle Marcus. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you poisoning Uncle Marcus. I know it was you. Oh, Abby. I always hoped this wouldn't happen to you. Your father was like this towards the end. Seeing things, imagining things. I always hoped he hadn't passed it on to you, or that the, the medication was making it worse, but you're just like him. No, this is real, and you tried to kill Uncle Marcus. Why? Why would I kill the man? For the money? For the business? Risking everything I have? My entire business and career that I've built up over 30 years for some garden centres and a few spas? Do you really think that little of me, Abby? I... You really don't know me at all, do you? You really didn't do it. Heaven knows why you've concocted this strange little fantasy. Look, I'm sorry, Abby, but whatever's going on here, I can't be part of it. What? I promised myself when your father became unwell. This mom is terrible. Anything this mom sucks. Like that ever happened to you? I couldn't put myself through that again. And I'm not going to break that promise. It's time I started putting myself first. <laughs> I hope you can find the help you need, Abby. Oh, and if you ever do get better, feel free to give me a call. You're probably better to text first, though. <laughs> Oh, she, what kicks, the hell? she kicks you out. Damn. Okay. <sighs> okay, so this one, this next one we're going to do is we're going to accuse uh, Nan, which is the last one that we actually needed to do. But then we'll go back to look at Bradley, George. So if you want to see that one, that, that one's like, oh, shit, it's pretty, it's pretty intense. You need to shake them off and don't answer it. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. <sighs> Fine. It is, it will be some sort of bizarre vegetation, won't it? Actually, loads of people are doing it. Loads? Just shit, no one in real life does maths without a calculator. Uh... I think it's 20. Fine. <laughs> The answer is a record 12 wins. I mean, my coach. Your mom's pretty. Yeah, signal's not. Oh, uh, mm. her guard her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. I think she was. Oh, well, no. Sorry. Don't apologize to me, babe. Apologize to your skin. So, um. Do you... When I was a kid, I just like listened to it over and over and over. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> Just like his father. Shall we go with cause permanent damage having one <sighs> two in a row? Oh, I'm just glad. It seems like this is the French. Abby, family that would never fucking lie to you. I better get back in there then. I am. I always play nicely. I'm delighted. Mum's. Bradley, you have. Why are you staring at me like that? You're lying. Uh All right, here we go. We're gonna we press the mom. This is Nan. This is the last one. Prove it. The truth. Let's go, dude. Find the killer. We found the killer, dude. It was Nan the whole time. It was Nan. Nan, we need to talk. The suit, what yeah. What is it, love? Right, I know right. what you did. I'm lost. You poisoned <laughs> Uncle Marcus. You tried to kill him. Tried? Yeah. He's going to survive. We... We found the antidote in time, so... You can't prove it. You really think that we'd be having this conversation if I couldn't? Yo, what the fuck? I know everything. Is he really going to live? Yeah. It's over, Nan. That's wild. You don't understand. I didn't have a choice. I had to protect the family. That's all this has ever been about. 
Marcus always knew there was more to the story about his dad. Shit. But if I didn't act, we wouldn't have anything. You wouldn't have anything. Just tell me the truth. Tell me everything, Nan. He was going to leave us, my Eddie. He was going to leave me, your Auntie June, your mother. He was going to cut us off. I heard him planning it with her, his other woman. I tried to talk him out of it, but he wouldn't listen. I had to Dude, stop him. She's a... I had two little girls, Abby. They needed a home, they needed money. We... We deserved it. Dad, is she psycho? Over the head. It was nothing but rage. I don't know if I even wanted to kill him. Maybe I did. One blow was enough. I panicked. You've got to understand, I was only thinking of your mother, of your Auntie June. So you killed their father. He was going to take everything from us. Dang, so she, she was... She Where was, is Grandad? She, she killed... I, I waited him down and pushed him into the lake. She killed the granddad and was about to kill Marcus too, dude. That's he last play wild, that. dude. I told the girls and Marcus the same story. Bro. That he killed himself. We told everyone else that he'd gone missing, the fishing accident. But we had to protect the family name. This isn't even the most wild years. ending, too. Marcus like, has been this obsessed is definitely a with shock, finding but... the truth for that damn autobiography he's writing. But if he found out, everything I did to protect this family would be for nothing. When your sister told me about Bradley's poisons, <laughs> I nearly laughed. It was so simple. I took them both on the morning of the meeting and waited for my chance. Your Auntie June's ever so clumsy, particularly when you give her a little shove in the back. She dropped that candle straight onto Marcus. <laughs> it went better than I'd planned. I, I was hoping for a distraction uh, to get it into his drink, but uh, your oh, mum picked it up and threw it over him. No. I rushed to the first aid box and poured the poison onto the wound dressing. I, I don't know which poison I actually used. It was the only one I could get the lid off. What? You'd think in this day and age, they'd make things like that easier for people with arthritis, wouldn't you? That's crazy. Bradley had told Lottie that the poisons were slow-acting, but deadly. So, when I watched Marcus walk out of your Auntie June's house with that dressing still on his hand, I knew it was over. At least I thought I did. Seems Marcus isn't that easy to kill after all. Thanks to you. Oh my God. Don't think I don't regret everything I did. I've lived with the pain of it every day since. Oh shit, is she That's gonna... why I've kept this. Is she gonna kill herself? So I'd never forget what I did. What I did to him. Oh, she hit her. That's she... what you used to kill. Granddad. With, with no one ever noticed the dark stain on the base. I loved him so much. Yo, what the fuck? I know Marcus will never forgive me. But it wasn't just me and the girls Eddie was leaving. It was Marcus, too. Every time Eddie looked at Marcus, all he could see was Marcus's mother. He loved her more than he ever loved me. But it was Marcus who drove him away. That's that's why he had to move and start again. I, I know Marcus will never believe me, but if I didn't do what I did, he would have nothing to. Hey, Abby. I have to go. Abby, wait. Hey, Abby. Oh my God, are you okay? I just talked to the doctor. She said it's gonna take a long time before I feel like myself again, but I am going to live because of you. Let's go, dude. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this, but Nan, she just confessed to everything. She did? 
Damn, I wish I had that on tape. We've got a lot of evidence, but what we need is irrefutable proof. I know what we can do. What? We need to search the lake. Dad's lake? Why? What's in there? Jesus, that's where she put him. So she really did it. Sorry. Hey, listen, don't apologize, Abby. You found the truth. Now look, I am gonna send you some money. Book the first flight out of there you can. Come see me. You're not gonna wanna be around them for this next little bit. There's one last thing I need to do. Just tell us what she said, Mum. I can tell you. Abby. These are the last words I'm gonna say to any of you. No, oh, what makes you think we give a flying monkey <laughs> rat's Auntie off? June, let's start with you. I know that you've been through a lot in your life and I might even feel sorry for you if you weren't such a vindictive, cruel bully. I've always wanted to say this to you. I hate you. I, I hate you. Hey, Abs, <laughs> that is not cool, okay? Toby, how nice of you to volunteer to go next. What can I say about you? Nothing, because there is nothing to you. You are a self-obsessed personality vacuum and a parasite. You follow tragedy around the globe and still somehow manage to make it about you. Like if, if I lost my entire village to a devastating earthquake, you would still be the worst thing to ever happen to me. And Bradley, I might as well complete the set. You, well, you're not actively terrible, but you just really, really creep me out. Thanks. Abby, I don't know what you think. Mum, I spent my whole life trying to live up to whatever it was that you expected from me, but the truth is you never wanted anything from me. You just, you wanted to be better than me. I think just so that no matter what, you could tell yourself that I will Dang, never be go good off, enough queen. for you. I wish I had the courage to say this a long time ago. Fuck. You. Oh. oh my god, Abby. Oh god, am I next? Lottie, you're messed up and really shallow. Really, really shallow. But I don't think it's entirely all your fault. So just give me some time and I'll I'll text you. Okay. Awesome. And by the way, Nan is a murderer. I'll let her fill you in on the details. Nan? Wait, what? I'm not she talking about. Damn, um, what's dude. going on? Don't worry, I know a good lawyer. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Do I get a speech too? Listen, just don't go getting yourself poisoned again, okay? Well, I'll take that. I like this new Abby. <laughs> yeah, me too. The whole truth, accuse every suspect. Oh, we got everybody, dude. Let's go, dude. Well, I think we got we got a hundred percent on the game.